I hate when that happens. Now listen, I know you done been to battle. I know you done been to war with brothers and sisters. Whatever you have done with those brothers and sisters, that's your business. I speak from my perspective. This is what I have seen. You can't sit there and tell me I did not see these things. You can't sit there and tell me I have not been called monkey, baboon, nigger, and ape. You cannot tell me what I have done and what I have not done. I have went to battle for more white people than white people have stood up for me. I have had more white friends than whites have had black friends. I have taken care of white people in black situations. I have been the only black man to bail white people out of situations. I have been the face to diffuse situations between white people and black people. How in the fuck you gonna tell me that I don't understand? Huh. You have never been called monkey, nigga, baboon, primate. You have never been disrespected to the point to where you'd rather stick your head in the fucking ground like a goddamn ostrich than to walk upright. You have never been disgusted with the people around you because the other people are telling you what kind of person you are. You have never been grouped with a bunch of people who ain't never gave a fuck about themselves, let alone you. How the fuck you gonna tell me? Huh? How can you tell me? I have defended your people when your people have called me nigger and thrown rocks at me. I have laid over the top of one of your people when five or six of my people were stomping and kicking because they didn't know who the fuck he was. How the fuck you gonna tell me? I go against the grain every goddamn time. And you gonna tell me I'm wrong? You gonna tell me I ain't never been called monkey? You gonna tell me I ain't never been called baboon? You gonna tell me my great great grandmama wasn't slaved? Please. Fucked and raped by a white man whenever you wanted to? How in the fuck you gonna tell me life is fair? I give a damn about what you think, who you went to battle with, and who you hugged at a funeral. You ain't never stopped one of your friends for calling somebody else a nigger. You ain't never stopped one of your friends from doing something to somebody that was not like you? Have you ever heard someone disrespect someone of color and do something about it? But yet you tell me that I'm disrespectful? The only reason I covered my face in that video is because people couldn't understand the first one. Then they say, why are you covering your face when we can just watch your other videos? I covered my face to prove a point. Look at the video when I got the fucking hood on. Then you can tell where the fuck I'm coming from. So you, mister, I have black friends in the army. You goddamn right. Those black people would have died for your ass. But if that's that nigga out there, you got your gun, you gonna cover him in the streets? You gonna take care of him in the streets? Are you gonna back him up in the streets? Are you going to stop five or ten white guys from jumping him? Are you going to stop the police from snatching him out the car and beating him to death? Are you going to risk your life to save some black man? And if so, do you have to be at war to do it? Stand up now for all people. Or lay down. Stand up or lay down. Cover your eyes and pretend like you don't see it like you have until you got in that situation to where you had to depend on those that you did not know. Why must I speak as if I'm a minister? So I can teach you something in this sermon. Not every white man is like you. Not every white woman is like you. Not every black man is like me. Not every black woman is like me. We are individuals. What you have seen and what you have been through are your experiences. If it's me, two other guys, and one other whatever, and some white guy walks up, bashes me in the head with a bat, you're going to say, that's my man, get off of it. Are you? You already assume that I don't like white people. You have already assumed that I am running with blinders on. I suggest you watch more than one motherfucking video, soldier, to understand this. 
I would rather die at your side than die at your feet. You understand what the fuck I'm saying? And when it comes down to it in the end, when the shit jumps off and everybody's against the blacks and the whites and, and everybody hates us, we are forever linked because of your bullshit. Your ancestor decided they wanted to get some free labor out of some motherfuckers and decided to open up slave shit. Your ancestors and the Arabs or whoever the fuck. I don't know who did it, but I'm not going to be I'm not going to ride through that shit. I'm not going to perpetuate that. I believe in total total unity. I don't give a fuck if you hate black people or not. There needs to be a unification to save this nation. And if I have to sound like I'm hating on white people to get white people to listen to me, I got your motherfucking ears open now. Now what the fuck you want me to do? Huh? You already told me I'm wrong. You tell me I'm wrong again. You tell me I ain't seen people do shit. You tell me white man ain't spit at my feet and said, clean it up, nigger. You tell me. You tell me that every white man in America is just like you. You make me believe. But you can't make me believe. Because I have seen shit that you have never seen. And you ask those black guys that you was in the trenches with. You ask those black guys that you dodging bullets with. You ask these so-called niggers. Because that's what everybody else calls them. You ask these niggers. What have they seen? And just like me. They're going to candy coat everything. Just not to make their white friends happy, mad. I can't make my white friends mad. I can't, I can't show them a side of me that they don't think is me. So I tell white people on this YouTube, and I tell black people on this YouTube, you all been fucking lied to. Open your damn eyes. Smell around. Smell what it smells like. Because this is the last bit of freedom we're all going to get. We're being funneled into a situation that we can't get out of. Until we unite. We unite. There will never be peace in this country. Until the two main factors in the United States of America. Until the two main denominators. The 14%, the 72%. To these two get together to form one, we won't never have peace up in here. You can fight next to a nigga. You will marry one. You die for one. If it's me and somebody you know, who you gonna rescue? The one you know. Right? What if the one you know happens to be white? And he says, let that guy hang. You're like, no, we got to get this guy. What if that happened to you? What if, what if, what, when is the last time you defended somebody black or Mexican or Asian? When's the last time you stopped somebody white from saying something fucked up? So please, don't turn your neck when somebody says something but speak on me. I got white all up in this fucking vein right here. This arm, this brain. I'm not jet black. I'm not obviously African. I don't speak as if I'm from the hood, do I? I don't act as if I'm ghetto. So how are you going to tell me that I don't know what I'm talking about? I only speak on what I see. And I'm offended. Somebody who, who died for this country. Oh, you're telling me? You're telling me that I'm not? Please. Like I said, I have done more for white people than white people have ever done for me. I stood up behind more white people than any white people have stood up behind me. No white people have bailed me out of shit. Except for one time. Look at the video. So don't be fooled when you hear me say something or sound a certain way. Don't fuck with me like that. Because all I have is one thing to say after that. After you say something fucked up to me, I only got one thing to say after I respond to your ass. 
You've been tubed. And you know who the fuck you are.